Hey everyone. <clears throat> so, I know it's been a while. It's definitely been about two or three months since I last posted a video. But I am here just to give you guys a simple update. Um, first, there's a new little angle that will be happening as I'm in my dorm room because instead of um, videoing from a MacBook, I'm now videoing from an iMac. Um, it's just always something I wanted, so I decided to finally get it. Um, a lot of things have been happening since the last time we spoke, but basically I'm going to get right into things and then I'll update you guys on my life if you're interested. But the purpose of this video is um, to establish the exact prerequisites. I don't know if I've done this in a video before or not, and I should probably look. But um, I've been getting a lot of messages about what kind of classes people need to get into medical school from people who are getting into medicine or who are thinking about getting into medicine specifically because of my videos, which is amazing. Um, the classes that you definitely will need, like that are required, um, are biology one and two, um, chemistry, inorganic chemistry one and two, organic chemistry one and two. Physics 1 and 2, um, a writing English and a reading English, um, like a literature and a technical writing, I guess. Um, and depending on the med school, Cal 1 for sure, and possibly Cal 2. It really just depends on the med school. Um, some, some medical schools allow, like, uh, I think it's called like business math or something like that, but I do know that others require Cal 2. So those are the general courses that everyone has to take. And I think they put such an emphasis on those courses because they will um, help with the MCAT pretty much because that's exactly what's on the MCAT. I mean, calculus isn't. And I hear that, um, from what I've heard, I haven't, I haven't had time to look at this. Um, but from what I've heard, um, they're trying to take calculus out of the prerequisites or whatever um, because they're because it's so relevant. And I kind of disagree with that if that's true, because I mean, as a patient, I would like my doctor to be able to do math. I mean, sure, it's not algebra, but I mean, just be able to do an advanced level of math and use their brains, you know. I think that that would just be an attest to that, and I think that's a large part of why physics is in the pre-medical curriculum, because it tests your logic instead of your ability to memorize facts, pretty much. Um, but yeah, those are the classes that you're going to need to take for uh, to be eligible to get into any medical school, and some medical schools, like Vanderbilt for instance, is very extensive in their prerequisites. And they require, you know, humanities and government and histories. And at least for Texas A&M, that's already covered in the core curriculum. And I guess it really just depends on your school, whether or not you already have that covered in your curriculum. But definitely look into the specific medical school that you're looking at going to, or that you'd like to go to, if you're going to, um, you know, plan your curriculum. I guess. But that is basically the purpose of this video medically. And if you're not interested in my life, I mean, you can cut this off now. And if you are, I'd be happy to tell you about it. Uh, the last this semester, guys, oh man, I just don't understand. Like, <laughs> I'm dying over here. And my grades aren't perfect at all. I mean, they're not bad. But there is potential for my GPA to drop. And I am taking 18 hours um, working as an RA, working as a tutor. So I have a lot on my plate, I guess. But I still almost feel like it's no excuse. But basically, physics and chemistry have been killing me. Like, just brutally. Like, you guys don't understand. Like, those are the reasons why I haven't... Like, I've been wanting to make videos. But those are the specific reasons why I haven't been making videos, because chemistry alone takes 
probably three or four hours out of every single day, and I don't have an A. I barely have a B. Um, and I mean, I've heard that that's okay from people who have who are either in medical school, medical school, who have been to medical school, or who are ahead of me in the application process to medical school. And I mean, I'm satisfied with the B, but just the amount of work that I've been putting into this. And I mean, it's largely due to my professor. Like, I'm, I'm teaching myself chemistry. Um, and I don't think that chemistry is one of those subjects that you should be alone on. Um, I mean, there's always tutoring and stuff like that, but I don't think a tutor is exactly in the position to teach you if you have no idea what you're doing. Um, I think they're there to sharpen the pencil, basically. Like, sharpen your skills. Um, but yeah, so I've been trying to teach myself chemistry. I've also been trying to kind of teach myself physics. Um, physics is a little bit easier, a little bit more easier than chemistry just because of the fact that I mean, it, you can make sense of it. Um, like, you know that if a car is going 60 miles an hour, there's no way in heck that that car is going to be 120 miles down the road in one second. I mean, you know, you can, you can kind of gauge physics because it actually makes sense. But it's not like you can gauge chemistry because you can see the two hydrogens and the oxygen atoms in a molecule of water. Like, I mean, I guess you could with a microscope, like a really powerful microscope, but as far as, far as like walking down the street, you know, oh, there's two hydrogens and an oxygen right there, just one molecule of both, so. But um, those have been killing me. Um, political science is done. I've finished it well enough to not go anymore and we still have two more tests and the way he works it is that our lowest test counts as five percent of our grade and he drops or no our our lowest test is dropped our second lowest test counts as five percent of our grade um and i finished high enough to where i can take zeros on both of those and still have an a so i'm not going to political science anymore because it's just a waste of time that's time that could be spent on chemistry which is exactly what's been happening um, speech is a blow off, you know, just get up and talk, basically, you don't even have to really prepare it. I have an A in there, but I'm not done with it, I still have to do a final. A final. Um, biology is a lot harder than I expected it to be, just because um, of the phylums and their Latin names and things like that, like, you have to memorize classes, phylums, subphylums, superclasses, you know, kingdoms, things like that, and it's and it's really extensive, and it kind of discouraged me to take microbio, but I did get some insight from a few of my friends who have taken microbio, and they said that it's nowhere near as extensive, which is good. So I'm excited for microbio next semester. Um, but yeah, chemistry and physics are really the only two classes that I'm having a problem with, more so chemistry than physics, um, and both really aren't, you know, fantastic professors, which is unfortunate. But I mean, everyone has to deal with that one semester out of every, you know, college career, if not more. So this is mine, um, my second one. <laughs> so um, what else can I let you guys know about? Oh, my schedule for next semester should look like... One second, I can actually get a piece of paper, I hope. All right, we got it. So my schedule for next semester, I have not registered yet. Um, we're not there at AM just yet, but it should be microbio or intro into microbio, um, business, government, and society. I'm a business minor, so that would be one of the classes that would be counting towards that. Um, organic chemistry one and physics two. So I'm only taking four classes. I think it comes out to be 14 hours. And the main thing is that I lighten my load specifically for OCHEM. I mean, I look the guy up on Rate My Professor or whatever, and they say that he's a great teacher. But just to be safe, you know, OCHEM is a really important subject to an admissions committee, I guess is a way to put it. Um, 
they're all important, but I think they emphasize OCHEM a little bit more just because it is harder. It is a little bit more relevant than the rest of the chemistry um, next to biochem, of course, um, and things like that. I think, I think it just shows like a worth work ethic, kind of dedication, kind of gauge as to how dedicated you are and how much you're willing to work for something. And that's fine, but I lightened my load from 18 hours to 14, specifically for OCHEM. Um, I don't think the management class will be too bad. I don't think the biology class will be too bad. Um, physics too, I'm hoping I get a better professor, and I'm hoping that this professor doesn't leave me behind enough to where I have to you know, like, research 15 chapters just to get to where we are in physics, too. But, um, that's where I'm at. I've been super busy, you know. I have wrinkles under my eyes when I smile. That's never really happened before. I'm not really excited about that, but I mean, that's life or whatever. So, it's been one crazy semester, and my grades are okay. Like, I don't think that my parents would be disappointed in my grades. Um, they do set high standards, but I don't think that they would be like, you really messed up this semester. Like, they're not that bad, but they're not like, my son got a 4.0. It's not like that. Um, so let's hope that these final three weeks I can just, you know, get in gear, finish strong, you know, hopefully save a few grades, hopefully get a few more grades, better grades to speak, um, and that is what's been up. I mean, nothing has really been happening other than school. Um, RA, I mean, I've had problems with residents. They pretty much, well, these particular residents pretty much hate me, which, which is fine. I mean, they're the ones that were doing wrong. I'm the one that had to, like, say that they were doing wrong. I get it. It's just like everyone hates the police, you know, I guess that's part of the job or whatever, which is fine. I mean, they're not, I mean, it's not like I want them to be a part of my life forever. So it's only going to be like one more year or six more months, you know, um, and that's that. So I really apologize. Oh, I also got a few questions. Um, to make money on YouTube, you have to become a partner. It will be at the bottom of the screen. Um, I think it's called Partnerships and Uploaders or something like that. Um, what else? You also asked me something. Um, thank you to the good sir who sent me a comment saying that I've gotten them interested in medicine because of their neurological problems causing them to be in a wheelchair. Um, that's really unfortunate and I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm glad that you are that much more motivated to make a difference in the world. It really means a lot that I could do that for you. Um, has I gotten anything else? I can't remember any particular ones that I've gotten. Um, thanks for all the fan mail to the few fans that I do have apparently. And also, if you guys wouldn't mind liking or disliking, just so I can gauge where I'm at kind of with my videos, because I see some videos have two likes, some videos have three likes, you know. Some videos have two dislikes, some videos have one dislike. And I just, like, I don't want it to look like everyone hates that video. But if you could just press the like button or the dislike button, it really doesn't matter to me. I just want to know, or I won't hold it against you, so to speak. I don't even know who does it, but um, I just want to know where my videos are at. So if you guys could do that for me. And again, I'm sorry for such a long video. I'm working on shortening them up. Um, but this was kind of like a three video in one kind of thing, so that would be the equivalent of three five minute videos, which isn't too bad. So this is just going to be one video though, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope everyone is doing way better than I am this semester, and if not, it's just one semester. You still have, you know, seven others to be accounted for, and I wish you all the best of luck, and I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. And just in case I don't see you guys, until then, have a Merry Christmas, you know? So, I can't really do the holiday for a dollar for pina colada because it's late and I'm really tired. So, holla for a dollar for a pina colada, and peace out. Okay. Oh, also, Annam's football team is doing pretty good. Yep. Thanks and gig'em.